Today we are going to use subtraction in two parts. So we are going to have to look at the first part first. Then after we do what we are supposed to there, we are going to look at the second part next to find our answer. I want you to get out your top colorful page. And listen to my story and go ahead and draw counters with your pencil as you listen to the story. Tom had 14 pennies. He gave four pennies to his sister. How many pennies does Tom have now? What am I going to do to four of them? I'm going to take them away. So I'm going to circle four of them and cross them out. So how many pennies does Tom have now? Ten. Ten. Please write the answer on the line. He has ten pennies. So now we are going to move that to the second part of our equation. How many pennies did we say Tom has now? Ten. So please draw ten pennies. Then Tom gave two pennies to his brother. How many pennies does he have now? What am I going to do first? Very good. Circle and cross two out to show that he gave two away. Now how many pennies does he have? Very good. He has eight. Do you see the two parts first thing? Yes. I had how many pennies all together first. Fourteen. Thank you. I had fourteen and I took away how many first? I took away four first, but then I took away how many more? Two. Very good. So I have fourteen minus four minus two. But guess what I did first? Them I did 14 minus 4 first, which equals 10. Thank you. So I have 10 minus 2. two. So 10 minus 2 equals 8. eight. So if 10 minus 2 equals 8, then 14 minus 6 must equal Eight. Did I have 14 first? Yes. I did. Did I take away six? One, two, three, four, five, six? Yes. Yes. 14 minus six equals eight. Do you see what we're doing today? Are there a lot of steps? Are we going to have to be careful about each of our steps? Okay, let's do another one. 